All right, good morning, good day, folks. This is what we got going on. It's that time of year. It's rainy in Vancouver, so the heater is on. I decided to turn the heat on this morning because I lost my warm little body. I dropped her off at work. Uh, yeah, she's uh, throwing off a lot of heat, that little Korean girl. So after she left, we had to turn that on. Anyways, we're in the middle of downtown. So. However, that is not the proper pan. Blah, blah, blah. Look at that. Wake up, Chuck. That's not the pro proper flame pattern for these blue flame heaters. It should be blue. So what I need to do is clean the little tube that it vents out of. So I'm a little close to you guys there, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Pretty ugly this morning. That's okay. You know what? You notice something else behind me? No, not the coffee, which I made this morning myself but this this little box of gold fire going bright and this is what we got every time I go downtown to drop her off or pick her up I gotta stop at Brecca for my little snacks my favorite I got a chocolate custard and it's a lemon crumble cake so that is my treat this morning to go with my coffee yeah 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 welcome to Vancouver Raincouver so a lot of leaves today look at I guess all the rain is weighing them down and falling off the trees so anyways I got a neighbor he's got all his window shades have been pulled up he's got no solar but he's got like a water storage pipe and there's my ugly girl man it needs a good polishing out and buffing really got to do that anyways let's Well, my friends, good morning, good morning. We're slowly opening my eyes and waking up, and the light is coming up, and the rain is slowly stopping. However, notice, no heat on. It's actually warm enough where I don't need heat. Mind you, it's warm under the covers. I don't know what I will feel like when I get out of bed, but yeah. So, speaking of heat, and hot and heaters. I'm gonna do a heater review a little bit after. So let's uh, yeah, get my ass in gear, get some vitamin C coffee into my system and my eyes open and uh, yeah. So I got last night's coffee, which is cold. So we'll have to make a new batch. Oh, notice all my snacks. I got chocolate pretzels and uh, potato chips. So I was watching some movies before I fell asleep. So yeah, snacks are a must. Anyways, cheers. We'll come back. Vitamin C first. Okay, here we go. This is what we got. I know the light's a little bit on the dark side, but we're going to flip the camera around in a bit and turn a... Uh, light on for you guys to see a bit more but we have a Procom heater and this has got a number is what they call it uh, M blah 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 okay 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 it's a Procom ML100 HBAHR so that's what it is and I'm gonna go right into it and we'll show you what they paid for this one now if you notice here they paid 108.74. It says when the people originally bought this that it came with a regulator and 10 foot hose. However, I did not get that from them. Uh, she never got that to me. So it was purchased on Tuesday, April the 10th, 2018. So here it lists item price 108, but I think the current price on this guy is 100 and 56 bucks I don't know if that's Canadian or an American price so that's what this unit is worth um, but the $156 price you get five heat settings on this unit that I got we only got two settings we have a pilot light to start it we have low and high on low it's 5000 BTU on high it's 10,000 BTU honestly I wish I had the five setting one that would give me more heat options however on 5,000 
at around zero degrees it heats up this place about perfectly I can leave it on and it keeps a steady 60 70 ish degrees depending on how much I open my vents 156 I'm pretty sure is the listed Canadian price and from what I see the American price is 119 is kind of what they got advertised um, the other thing that I seen on this one for that same price 119 you can get a thermostat controlled one so instead of having these adjustments what you would have is five settings and you can do run it on one setting hit that setting and it will keep that temperature so when it gets to that heat range the pi the the burner will shut off the pilot light will stay on and it will until it cools down to that certain temperature setting then it will refire I guess is that how to explain it so if you want to set it on number three it'll keep that number three temperature and until it gets colder beyond below that temperature and then the pilot light will flick on the t the heat control again and it will refire the heater so I really wish I would have the thermostat controlled one because this one is a manual one and obviously I have to shut it on and off this one I don't want to leave on at night I, I yeah I'm a little scared to do it at night uh, to leave it running at night if I had a thermostat controlled one I would have no problems running it all night I would feel safe but you know what? It doesn't get cold enough here in Vancouver for me to do that. And don't mind the mess because I'm going through all my clothes and getting ready for laundry, getting ready for work, and making lunch. So, yeah, it's pretty messy in here right now. So, if you notice, I'm using my heater positioned here on top of this little storage container. And then I prop it up against the my table here. And usually when I'm driving, I just take this little... Whoops, sorry. I take this little bungee cord and I throw the bungee cord there and I tie it up onto the this little thing. That way it doesn't go anywhere, it doesn't fall over, blah 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 blah. These type of blue flame heaters are meant to mount to a wall. However, I don't want it permanently mounted. This way, with the 10 foot hose, I can take it to the front of the van or to the back of the van. I can move it anywhere around. So that's why I keep it here. Um, I should build a little, uh, I should build a little platform instead of using this storage container to hold it up on. But you know what? That's what I got for now. And yeah, that's just the way it is for me. I'm too lazy. I guess I don't have the time to make something right now. So this works and that's the way it's going to be. If you noticed in my last video, it was a bur burning an orange flame fire going bright and we don't want that orange flame or we don't want that pattern so I'm gonna clean this off and then we're gonna come back fired up and talk a little bit more of why a blue flame and what a blue flame is okay I don't know if this is coming gonna come in very clear but this is what you gotta do every maybe two months you have to go inside the burner part you just put your hand through the top and you'd go in and I just scrape off the little holes where the gas burns and the flame burns through. It seems to collect carbon in there and plug up and then it doesn't burn proper. It burns orange instead of blue. And yeah, I can't get in here to really do a good job of videoing it. Does that come in? Yeah, right there. See? All those little holes and grills. I just scrape it off. I use a little pick and just scrape the holes and the little bits of carbon off. So that's the only problem with this uh, burner heater. Okay, why do I want to use a blue flame heater or why do you want to use a blue flame heater? Well, these blue flame heaters are 99.9% .9 efficient, meaning they burn all Every, all the propane, pretty much everything, they leave very little particles, carbon particles, left over unburnt. The color of a flame represents unburned carbon. So if you get an orange or yellow burning heating device, 
that means that that heater is throwing out 1,200 degrees temperature to 2,200 degrees temperature of a heat. However, a blue flame is from 2,300 degrees uh, temperature to 3,000 degrees of temperature, meaning that it is burning everything off, leaving no carbon. Whereas a orange flame or a yellow flame, it has more carbon particulates in that flame that's being unburnt going into the air. And I think specifically for van life people living in a small space like this, over time, all of that is building up in, in your system that you're breathing. So blue flame having more unburnt is more efficient. However, if you really want to go efficient and being safe, I highly suggest going to a diesel heater because you get no byproducts, no carbon coming into the, your living space. All that is going outside of the exhaust, outside of the van, or outside of your living quarters. This, I'm sorry, no matter what, uh, how safe anybody says the Wave, Olympia Wave is, or how safe the buddy heaters are, you know what? No, I don't believe it. It's still emitting carbon, those ones. These ones are a little bit more safer than those ones because it's burning complete, or almost complete. So uh, that's why I recommend these. A uh, buddy heater, I can't freaking recommend those things at all. I've had two of those units. The first one lasted two weeks and sputtered out on me. Uh, then I got a replacement, and that one lasted maybe a month. And it was just crappy freaking heater. What a waste of money. And it was more money than this heater. I, I bought this one used for 120 bucks. She just wanted her value back out of it, so I was happy to pay for it. With two years on this thing so far, no problems other than it, like I said, it clogs up the uh, burn holes, and every month you have to clean that burn hole out. So, eh, that, I guess that's better than a wood stove where you'd have to shovel out all the ashes and clean this hood out. So, you know, um, what's the lesser evil there? What? The other thing about this one is also it puts out less moisture in the air and my windows do frog up and right now I've been breathing and talking all day in this and I haven't really opened my vents so it's gonna fog up in here. I gotta stop breathing, heavy breathing. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. But the buddy heater when I used it, holy flack, my walls were dripping and in water the roof the roof would be dripping with with water condensation unbelievable and then at the front I ended up getting a little bit of surface black mold or whatever you want to call it with this one I, I haven't had that my roof stays clear no condensation and I never got any mold in the front mind you I move things around where it gets more airflow in the front now so that's another reason why I rec recommend this uh, yeah, so maybe we should fire this up and see if now that I cleaned it, if it does a better flame pattern and if it's not glow, uh, having an orange flame. Okay, 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 okay. To start this bit, baby, it's pretty easy. I just go off like that. Oh, how am I going to do this with two, with one hand? Um, you're supposed to press down and press down on the pilot and then press down on the igniter. And there you go. We get a little blue flame. Can you see? Man, I'm doing this is bad. Yeah, it's a little blue flame. I don't know how good it's coming in. So you hold it down for about five, ten seconds, then you can let up. Actually you don't have to hold it down, you can let up. So how's that? Oh yeah. Hello, Mr. Blue. And then what happens, of course, your phone dies, so it stops recording. So look at, I'm like zero battery, so I have to charge the freaking phone up. So let's try this again. Pilot lights on, can you see it? No, because I'm pointing in a different direction. So pilot lights on, I'm on pilot ignition setting. All I do is turn it over like that to low and voila. Wow, look at that, came on really quick this time. Holy fuck. 
Whoops, I swore. So, ta-da, instant heat. How do you like it? So notice that I've cleaned it. Now it's doing a proper blue flame. Has a couple little uh, emittance of orange, which maybe is the carbon that I scraped off on the heater element is probably, uh, yeah, it's probably cleaning itself off, I'm guessing, all the particulates that I wiped off there. So that is it. And the other thing I like about this thing is, it's freaking awesome. It's like a little freaking fireplace. So for the ambiance alone, I love it. So for 125 bucks, you know what? This was amazing, a perfect buy. I would t take this hell over a buddy heater. I feel safer, the, the heat, it has the glass plate up front, so the heat's blowing up through this hole here. It does radiate a little bit this way, but mainly it does go up in this direction. Now if I wanted to, I could put a little fan, fan behind there and blow it away, but you know what? I found that I haven't re really needed that fan. And I'm also going to note that I do have four air vents in the van. I got one by my range hood. I have one in the toilet. I have this one above me. And I have two windows in the front driver's compartment. So technically, I got five vent locations. And for now, I'm going to go back and start finishing off getting my clothes organized ready for work tonight and ready for laundry and I guess I should probably finish off my dinner for work tonight and uh, I work till 6 a.m. so yeah it's gonna be a long night and I'll have to take a nap but until then we're gonna have my lemon crumble and you know what we're gonna say thanks for watching as usual if you haven't subscribed please do so now and yeah stay awesome be awesome you guys be kind and until next video cheers